Okay, so we're climbing deep into the mountains. We're, uh, we're on a mission looking for the most active volcano in Mexico. And uh, it's near Colima, but uh, to get up here, it's just really rigorous mountain roads. And uh, the van was actually overheating a little bit. <clears throat> we got the, the override switch on now, but everything seems to be fine. But these roads are just getting gnarlier and gnarlier uh, every, every minute. <clears throat> it seems that they're just kind of closing in on us and, and, and going uphill. So uh, it's going to be an interesting ride. Hopefully we can find this volcano and uh, see some action there. Let's just keep on getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're taking the scenic route, that's for sure. So yeah, we left. In Manzanillo, we left around 11 p.m., 12 p.m. last night. We drove for a couple hours into the night. Uh, through the mountains the whole time and found a village uh, up in the mountains and we, uh, we just slept there, um, woke up, had some breakfast and just continued to drive and it's just been mountains ever since so we're probably a good four hours through the mountains here. It's getting pretty, uh, pretty cool up here. Just chilling. Join the mountaintops, isn't he? Needless to say, yes, yeah, it's going to take us quite a bit longer to get to our destination instead of taking the roads, but you know what? This is what we like. This is the adventure. This is the sights you want to see when you come to a place like this. It's uh, all of this. And you can't see that from the tollways, especially the tollways. You don't see nothing. So uh, my recommendation, take some small roads, get off the beaten trail, and uh, go see some beauty. That's where it's at. Here's proof that if you travel hard enough, you can see some really picturesque stuff, like uh, like these views here. Hey, the right, Randall. Oh yes. You ain't gonna see this driving down some tollway. We are just climbing and climbing and climbing. We have literally no idea where we're going right now. Uh, the GPS doesn't really show this road, so we're hoping this is the right one, but uh, man, we're getting high. I mean, this just keeps going up and up and up. Literally, if we're looking for this volcano, we might just end up on top of it for all we can tell at this point. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, that would be nice. Maybe we'll get the closest look that you can, but uh, for now, yeah, this is interesting, man. We just keep getting deeper and deeper. Luckily, we have uh, an extra five gallons of gas. Is it? It's time to come. <laughs> hey, Rome. Okay. You, you want to know part of us. <laughs> okay, so we did, we found a sign, and uh, it looks like there's some ecotourism, maybe a, uh, a conserve, conservation area for butterflies, is that it looks like. Oh, 
don't see any butterflies. <laughs> All right, so it's a little bit of bust at the uh, Mariposo uh, butterfly uh, ecological thing there. It looks like there was no one there. And, uh, from what we hear, there is a, a path. Uh, uh, the butterflies come through the mountains here in just great numbers and they gather in the areas here uh, in a certain part of the year so uh, I think that's what they were going for trying to catch uh, a little piece of that and uh, let some people see it so I'm um, not finished yet so we're just going to continue on here down the road here and see what else we can find in the middle of nowhere right now. <clears throat> uh, all we see is uh, cows grazing, random houses. It's uh yeah we don't <laughs> roads get keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller at this point we're just driving down like trails. Yeah we we'd probably be better off on horseback at this point but we're just gonna keep pushing through. We're told that this way it does go to Kalima, somehow, some way. Uh, but the roads keep teeing off. Uh, we're basically just kind of hoping <laughs> that we find the right boat road at this point. Uh, I'm not even sure that we could find our way back if we wanted to. So we found a uh, we found a small camp that was uh, a secondary education for kids to come up and and learn uh, you know learn some different school stuff. And uh, Senor Pancho is <laughs> Senor Pancho <laughs> is giving he's showing us the Camino. Uh, so we're, we're going back back to the city now. So Pancho is telling us that we're actually going to get to see uh, some, some really nice views of the volcano that we were looking for. Uh, so it appears we took the hard road, <laughs> but we might have actually found the right road. So uh, hopefully we can get some. Hopefully we can get some shots of that. So it looks like we we found our volcano. See? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of them at least. What's that? Yeah. One yeah. of
se llame Volcana de Fuego. De, de, fuego, no de fuego y de nieve. Nieve. So, so this is actually so this is uh, Volcana de Fuego. De Fuego. Volcano of Fire. And we're standing right in front of it looking at it. It's pretty cool. Uh, it took us a long journey to get here, but we found it, so. Day of driving through the mountains, some pretty rough stuff. We finally got freaking pavement. Pavement. You have no idea how happy I am to see that stuff. <laughs> we have been shaking apart. This van has been just having some issues here and there, besides all the roughness, bottoming out, having to play around with the suspension to get that adjusted properly, just uh, overheating issues having to run the override fan quite a bit and now we have a uh, gauge problem the gauge is just completely whack it's saying it's 300 degrees and it's actually like 180 so we're gonna have to freaking either find the short or replace that whole gauge and figure out what's going on because it's pretty important to know how fast we're going or, I mean how uh, how hot the the, the, the the engine is so um, but yeah, we're back to the road, back to the pavement. Um, it was a uh, fun adventure, but uh, quite extensive. Uh, it took us all day long, uh, from the morning all the way till now. I'm, I'm ready for a freaking beer and uh, some food. How are you feeling, Dave? See, ready See? for a beer, some food. See. See. Nice.